how this can be a really quick video on how to remove pieces from a really tight cube. In this case, the Waylong V9. So here I have my Waylong V9. This is my personal one. It's set on a pretty tight tension. So if you try to go ahead and just remove an edge using your standard method of turning it slightly sideways, sticking it under and trying to pull it out, what ends up happening is you're going to go ahead and break any of the pieces inside because you're kind of just forcing it. You're not allowing for any play. And if you force it, you're gonna break an edge because the pieces inside of the edge are really, really fragile. The smart thing to do here would be to go ahead and loosen the cube a little bit. So let's say I wanna take out this uh, green orange edge. I'm gonna loosen up three of the sides, this top, this front, and then this green, because I'm gonna go ahead and turn it here, and then now I'll have enough play on this side, this side, and the top side to kind of help maneuver this edge out. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And if your cube is tight, like it doesn't really matter which cube it is, let's say it's a GAN, Tornado, whatever, just put it on the loosest settings on three of the sides. So now that I have this side really loose, you can see that there's a lot of play here, there's a lot of play here, and there's a lot of play up on the top. This will make sure that it's easier to go ahead and put your thumb underneath here, and then take this guy out without any damage to the edge. When you're taking this guy out, what you wanna do at the same time is spread these corners as wide as you can because we've loosened the sides, this will actually pop out really easily. And you can see how thin these pieces are. So if you go ahead and try to pull it out before you even loosen anything, you're gonna break these little wings on them. So it's best to go ahead and loosen the cube up before trying to do anything like taking it out because you're just going to break it. The procedure to putting it back in is similar to how you took it out. We're gonna go ahead and set that side to a 45 degree angle. So that slot is over the three sides that we've loosened. We're gonna go ahead and spread apart the corners as widely as we can. And we're gonna go ahead and just put that edge in and it should kind of just sit in place. From there, we're gonna go ahead and retighten the puzzle, replace our caps, and then the cube will be set. And you can do this on pretty much any cube. Just make sure to go ahead and loosen three of the sides first before removing an edge or else you will break the puzzle. Okay, now it's back to semi-tight tensions. That looks similar. That looks good. That looks good. And that looks good as well. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the caps. And the cube should be all set to use once again. Uh, hope that helps.